America Meditating Blog Talk Radio Show. We collect wisdom, hear stories, and inspire each other. I'm Sister Jenna. Tune in live from Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Do you like to meditate? Have you tried to meditate? Have you struggled with meditation? Why don't you visit one of the Brahma Kumaris Meditation Center? Visit brahmakumaris.org. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor. Mr. Rogers passed along friendship, hoping we would too. Friendship. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Write thank you notes. Tell the truth all the time. These motivating thoughts from Randy Pausch's last lecture remind each of us to live our dreams. Be creative every day. Take a fun trip. Motivation. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Do you want to power up your day? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Can't manage the speed? Time to get off the grid and get into the heart. A groundbreaking meditation CD for people on the move. And at this time, I choose to get off the grid and step inside the heart. Take a break. Breathe. Why don't you visit the Peace Village Learning and Retreat Center, 518-589-5000.
Hello, everyone, and welcome to America Meditating Radio Show. I'm your host, Sister Jenna. We're broadcasting from the beautiful Meditation Museum in the nation's capital, and we hope that you will take the time to come out and connect to yourself. A guest had passed through a week ago, Kara, and she left a very beautiful video message, and she said, I've been to Peace Village, I've been into the Brahma Kumaris and here, and I have felt that no one's trying to indoctrinate any They just want you to realize your true self. And I just want to say thanks, Kara, for that beautiful message because that's exactly what we're here to do. Who in the world really knows what's sitting in the heart of another human being? We can firmly say that perhaps we all appreciate being loved and regarded just to show up, just to be present. And love makes the world go round. But love also makes you live longer and makes you happier as a person. And so I feel like the more love you have for yourself and the more love you're able to share with others, it just makes you feel like you want to be around for a long time. Stay tuned because we're going to have Tao Portion Lynch with us, who is a master yoga teacher, former model and actress. And guess what? She's 96. She's almost as young as Daddy Janki, who heads the Brahma Kumaris, who is now a good whopping 99 years old. And I'm telling you, when you just find the fountain of youth and the trick to life, do not let go of it. So hold on for a little bit because we're going to do what we do best here on the America Meditating Radio Show, and that is to take you into a place in which you connect to your own divine self your positivity, your purity, and your peace of mind. So I'd like us to step into silence. And after this, we will definitely turn the lines to our beloved sister Gita, who is also an avid dancer and who we would love to be able to keep going out there and dance to her heart's content. So take a little breathe deeply and let's get into our place of silence. Om Shanti This mantra Om Shanti I, the soul, am peaceful Reminds me that today I will be quiet Today I will spend the day as silent as possible Silence isn't an absence of speech. It is an absence of waste and negative thoughts. So when I interact with everyone, I will come from a deep, pure place of silence. And with every step that I take, I will carry peace, power, and the love for silence.
Uh, People of Love by Sanatam Kaur. And I hope you enjoyed the meditation on silence from my Off to Work CD, which you can get on iTunes or CD Baby. Why don't we turn the line to our beloved sister Gita and find out what special readings she might have for us on this incredible day. Sister Gita? Om Shanti. Good morning to all of us. And I'm reading from Daddy Janki's brochure, The Silence of the Mind. Daddy Janki is the founder of the Janki Foundation, which you can find awesome. She's also 99, going 100 years old. Silence of the Mind, how is that possible? Do I have any things of the old in my heart? Do I have hurt feelings in my heart? Do I have... Revenge in my heart. Do I see the weaknesses in others and hold on to them? Do I do this? Because that delays the silence of my mind. Now, think positive thoughts. They are powerful and they bring light. Whereas weak and negative thoughts darken your mind. Get rid of waste and perform good actions and bring in maximum Benefit to the self and others. Be virtuous, like a tree heavy with fruits that bows and gives shade to all. Remember, as you sow, so shall you reap. You will start to talk to yourself from your heart, and you will talk to God from your heart. Don't just make complaints and demands. Let your intellect be peaceful, distant, distant from the attractions of the mundane, the body, and bodily relations. Consider yourself to be the incorporeal soul and relate to the incorporeal father, the supreme soul. He will listen to you when you speak from your heart. He will then respond to you from his heart. Hence comes total stillness. Om Shanti. Have a good day. Thank you so much, Sister Gita. As usual, you've touched our hearts tremendously. The America Meditating Radio Show is proud to have an exclusive interview with Tao Prashan Lynch, who is a master yoga teacher, former model, actress, producer, award-winning dancer, lifelong activist, and wine connoisseur. At the age of 96, Tao has set the world on fire and has been covered by media around the globe from CNN, NBC, CBS, Al Jazeera, and even India Times. Her YouTube videos have garnered almost 1 million views, and guess what, folks? Still counting. Since she started dancing competitively at the age of 87, she has won over 600 first place awards. On top of that, she marched with Mahatma Gandhi twice. So please feel free to watch Tao as she recently appeared on America's Got Talent. And today we welcome Tao to the America Meditating Radio Show. Hello, welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you to you. Well, we are just so inspired by you, my great, great yeah. spiritual mentor, Daddy Janki, is 99 years old, and she makes me feel like I'm 5,000 years old because she's got so much energy. Now, I'm, I must say, of course, your life is just naturally unfolding for you, so perhaps where you're concerned, you're naturally being your bliss, you're being you, but for yeah. us looking on you, it's amazing. So you're now 96, but in 2012, the Guinness World Record recognized you as the world's oldest yoga instructor at the age 92. You started studying yoga at a very young age. Tal, tell us a little bit about what has inspired you to focus on yoga, and how have you kept your inspiration for so many years? I think it goes back to when I was very, very young. I was always, my uncle was always telling me, never try to understand Don't listen to what other people say and say that they're wrong, but know that all of us have the right to our own choice. And that there was one thing that never you could never divide between people, and that is the breath of life. And the breath of life, what is the breath of life? It's the Lord of creation within you. And when I just listened to a sister and wonderful things she said, and I agree that actually my heart 
as I listen to it beating inside of me, I know that I'm in touch with the Lord of creation. I'm in touch with God or whatever you want to call it because it's right inside of me. The moment I stop breathing, it leaves me and I'm just a body that goes back to the earth. And so as Mm. I tune in to my inner self, then I find that I can do everything and I can find the answers to everything and I don't have to put any fear into my mind because within me is the answer. I started that as a little child. I started yoga watching some young men, young boys actually, playing on the beach and they were doing yoga and I thought it was a new game so they let me join in on it. (laughs) When I told my aunt, she said, you know, that's not ladylike, that's yoga. (laughs) And I said, well, if boys can do it, I can do it. I don't want anyone telling me what I can't do in my life That because that's kind of, how do you say, uh, ignorant. Know that within you is the answer to everything. I will agree with that, Tao, because I've seen where even within my own spiritual journey, you know, there's like a sort of a setting that you're supposed to be. And I remembered following that setting, but inside not feeling genuine and honest to that. And as I allowed myself to unfold genuinely or authentically, I still held my principles and my truths, but it just didn't look like what everyone else wanted me to look like. And I was happy with that. And I'm watching that they're okay okay with that too. So I believe in listening to your own inner being. Congratulations on your book about meditation titled Reflection, The Yogic Journey of Life. You're now working on your autobiography. Actually, uh, it's going to be shown on my birthday, on my 97th birthday, which is in a few days. Oh, uh, cool. And where are you going to celebrate your birthday? I want to come. Oh, please. I'd love to have you come. (laughs) I'm good Celebrate, yes. Uh, Joyce knows all about it. Uh, I'm not so good on arranging that because to me, we're never getting older. And sure. uh, seven, seven is my lucky number. So the next, next year is going to be very good. And uh, I believe when you wake up in the morning, don't think about all the things you can't do and, the, and fear, but don't put any fear in your mind. Just know it's going to be the best day of your life. And it will be. And so I wake up with the joy in my heart, and I hope it expands throughout the world. I love that. I'm sure you've asked this question perhaps a lot of times. What's been the secret to your longevity, and is there anything that you have regretted so far up until this point? I don't think there's really any secret to it. I simply will will not have people tell me what I can't do with my my body and everything. And I keep telling them within me is the power to to come through that and and really work on it. And there's nothing I can't do. So why am I looking? Then if you really want to have the truth behind all things, look at nature. Nature is my encyclopedia of life. Those trees that are, some of them are even thousands of years old. The sap mm. coming up from them, they're not dead during the winter when they look as if they're dead. They're not dead. They're in the midst of recycling themselves. And then when spring comes, even this year, that is, the winters seem to go right into springtime, into May. And there were no, no leaves on the trees or anything. But I have never seen more beautiful weather and more beautiful trees than now. And they're so joyous and so filled with life that sap has come up and filled the whole air. So I try to feel the same thing happening within me. Know mm. that, that right inside of me, the energy moves upwards and then it explodes. And I just believe that. Yes. How beautiful. It just sounds like you're so present, Tao, and I think that's one of the most incredible ingredients to just a healthy, grounded, beautiful life. We have our ashram on two acres of land surrounded by beautiful, beautiful vegetation. And many times I'll I'll tell some of the residents that live here, I go, did you even look outside? Did you go for a walk? Did you enjoy the trees, the, 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 yes. the, the deers walking by, the fox that tries to sneak in? and out and I found that sometimes we're so much in our heads and it's not always the most beautiful place that if you just allow nature to remind you of how beautiful you are you just might realize that even whatever's going on in your head can be just as beautiful if not even more I believe that I believe that even Mm. with a little insect a little spider like I was teaching 
And I suddenly saw some men and they were about pounding the floor. And some of my students and I said, what are you doing? And they said, there's a bug. There's a bug. I said, well, what are you doing? You're going to kill it. I said, not on my, not on my uh, lesson. You're not killing anything. That tiny little bug's heart beat is beating like yours. And the fact that there are seven of you and only one of them, and he's been able to avoid you, you just shush him outside. And let him live. We all yeah. have to live in this world. Every single thing, even a blade yeah. of grass, has a Beautiful. can breathe. And so feel it. It's, it's wonderful. You know, the American Indian, and I've tried it many times, and I've felt it. They used to, when they got up in the morning, put their arms around the trunk of a tree and feel the energy of the sap moving upward and know that they too, that wonderful wonder inside of them was in them too. And so sometimes I like to do it. People laugh at me, but I don't care. The dance of life is within us, around us, and through us. Without mm, beginning. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, here you are, right? You're at the prime of your life, and you're loving every minute of it. Every second for you is like a year in living, I would say. So when Tao thinks of her future, what comes to mind? I I don't think into future. I think this very day is what counts. Don't Mm. don't think how I'm going to do it. Know that this very day is going to, with the right mentality and facing it, you're going to pull towards you what other people are looking for as well. And they're going to give you a lot of wonderful Mm. power inside of you. Could you say that one more time? You are going to pull to others. I feel as, as when I take my breath, I'm breathing the same way as everybody in this world. And they are looking also for the same thing as me. And so we come together and we bring something wonderful into our lives. But never mm. think about I can and I cannot do. The only verb to is to be able. I'm able to do anything because that power resides inside of me. Mm. I'm remembering a famous quotation by Eleanor Roosevelt. And the quote goes like this. Do the things you think you cannot do. That's right. He's, I tell them something very naughty, I know. But you know, something when they say to me, I can and cannot do this, I can do this, I say, we do, can. You don't say you can or cannot. There is no such verb. Can is to can fruit and vegetables. What you are able to do is feel the power inside of you that knows no limit and go and do it and know that it's good. Mm, what an inspiration. Go. What an well, inspiration you are, Tao. Thank I you so know. much. No, it's been powerful because you are talking about the soul that is inside of the body and that the soul has far more greater light and magnificence than you give the body, but both are important to honor. And we haven't really spoken about the energy of the divine or God. I'd be curious to know, what's your interpretation of the the role of God in your life at this time? Well, I think it, 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 it lies dormant until we awaken it. And I think that there is only one thing. When you want to go to the top of the mountain, go there. Because if you go only up one side of it, you won't see, you'll only see one side. But when you really go up to the top of the mountain, it opens up. Because truth is one, and sages call it by many names. And I feel that if I can live this inside of me and watch every single planet go through the air, all the, the tiny birds out that are chirping with joy, and all around me watching the geese go across the sky, I wonder how they know where to go. There is something inside of them that's telling them, and just keep knocking on the door inside of you, and it will awaken. And so I, I'm trying to do that. I feel that don't spend time thinking about the future. Think about now. Open the door now. And it will reveal so much to for you. And you will find, I have some people that I, I told them when the, their husband was not feeling well and was deciding to give up on everything. I said, when you wake up in the morning, say, this is going to be the best day of my life. And so in Jamaica, when I arrived there, they were all chanting, we've put this in all our studios. This is going to be the best day of your life. And With an accent. <laughs> <laughs> very silly, very childish, but true. Yeah, I love that. I'm Jamaican, so I kind of chuckle when you say that. And thank you for that. You know, I have a soft spot for voices of wisdom, and most of my best friends have always been over 60. 
And the reason why I've made that decision is that I love to grow and I love to learn from those who have been there, done that, and pass on to me the torch so that I don't fall down too many times. But like what you have reiterated in this conversation, your answer is inside. Do not believe you cannot do something. It is in you. You have what it takes. This is the best day of your life. We yeah, love you. We Yeah, we appreciate you. And we're going to air the show, especially on your birthday, in honor of your birthday and in honor of the gifts that you have offered not only our planet, but the lives of so many, Tao. Thank you so very much. Before I let you go, is there a website that our listeners can get a hold of you, send birthday greetings, keep yes. updated with all the wonderful things that you're doing? Here's Joyce. She'll tell you. Hi, I'm Joyce. I, I do Tao's Internet for her. Her website is her name, dot com. Beautiful, Joyce. Thank you so okay. very much. Tao, have a wonderful birthday, and we'll definitely keep in touch, and all the very best. Bless you. Thank you so much. All right. Om Shanti. Take care. So it is up to you on the inside. It is up to you to find your personal power. And when you wake up, this is the best day of my life. Stop trying to think too far ahead of what you think you should be. Stop regretting on what you did yesterday, but you know what? Today's new, and today's your opportunity. I hope you've enjoyed our conversation with Tao, and please do send us birthday greetings so we can pass it on to her, because we're definitely going to crash her birthday party. Remember, as we say it here on the America Meditating Radio Show, no one has the power to take away your happiness. We are here to love each other the same, so let's do it. Let's just do it. Take care, everyone. All the very best. Mm-hmm.